Hello, welcome to World Adventures Preschool Storytime. What's that, Sammy? Did you want to go to sleep? No. Oh, Sammy wants to go hide in today's story, so we need to go find him. Today's story is The Salamander Room by Anne Mazur. Remember, friends, we're looking for Sammy in the story. Do you see him? There he is, and there he goes. Let's go start today's story. Brian found the salamander in the woods. It was a little orange salamander that crawled through the dried leaves of the forest floor. The salamander was warm and cozy in the boy's hand. Come live with me, Brian said. He took the salamander home. Where will he sleep? His mother asked. I will make him a salamander bed to sleep in. I will cover him with leaves that are fresh and green and bring moss that looks like little stars to be a pillow for his head. I will bring crickets to sing him to sleep and bullfrogs to tell him good night stories. They will be hungry. How will you feed them? I will bring insects to live in my room. And every day I will catch some and feed the salamanders. I will make little pools of water on top of the boulders so they can drink whenever they are thirsty. He will miss his friends in the forest. I will bring salamander friends to play with him. And when he wakes up, where will he play? I will carpet my room with shiny wet leaves and water them so he can slide around and play. I will bring tree stumps into my room so he can climb up the bark and sun himself on top. And I will bring boulders that he can creep over. The insects will multiply and soon there will be bugs and insects everywhere. I will find birds to eat the extra bugs and insects, and the bullfrogs will eat them too. Where will the birds and bullfrogs live? I will bring trees for the birds to roost in and make ponds for the frogs. Birds need to fly. We can lift off the ceiling. They will sail out in the sky. But they will come back to my room when it is time for dinner because they will know that the biggest, juiciest insects are there. But the trees! How will they grow? The rain will come through the open roof and the sun too. And vines will creep up the walls of my room and ferns will grow under my bed. There will be big white mushrooms and moss like little stars growing around the tree stumps that the salamanders climb on. And you, where will you sleep? I will sleep on a bed under the stars with the moon shining through the green leaves of the trees. Owls will hoot and crickets will sing. And next to me, 
on the boulder with its head resting on soft moss, the salamander will sleep. And that is the end of our story, The Salamander Room. Thank you, Anne, for such a great story. Let's find Sammy one more time. Do you see him? There he is. Come on back, Sammy, and say goodbye to our friends. Do you see Sammy anywhere? You do? Oh, hi, Sammy. <gasps> Sammy said, if you like that story, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Be sure to join us for more story adventures. Till next time, friends. Bye-bye.